What's going on guys, it's Boss. Today I'm doing a tutorial on how to mod um, zombies on Black Ops with the USB. Um, this was requested quite a bit um, from people watching the last uh, the modding video with the transfer cable. And I understand that not everybody has a transfer cable. So I'm doing this tutorial today to show you guys how to do this with the USB. It's, uh, it's just as easy, um, if not easier, than with the transfer cable. And of course you don't have to buy a transfer cable. And uh, for those wondering, you can actually go to GameStop or EB Games and uh, pick up an, a, a transfer cable. They they sell them with the hard drive, I think. So if you want to get one, I'm pretty sure you have to buy a hard drive. I got mine for free um, by calling Microsoft and telling them I wanted to transfer my data to a new hard drive, which wasn't true. Um, but I did get a, an Xbox. It was an elite, so I just told them that I wanted to transfer things from my old Xbox to the new one. So, if you s happen to have your Xbox on your warranty still, you can do this and get one for free instead of having to buy one from GameStop or EB Games. So, let's begin. You want to have your USB in your Xbox. I have an old USB right now inside, and I'm going to go over to memory, and I don't think I have this set up, so I'm going to go ahead and configure it now. Okay, so it's ready, but it doesn't meet the 360 performance recommendations, which it doesn't matter. Um, it isn't the best USB, but it works. So, and it's, it's an old USB, so whatever. It's only 1.3 gigs um, on the Xbox. So we're going to go in here, and anyway. So now that that's done, uh, we don't need it quite yet. We're going to go over, and um, I'm going to sign out. and we're gonna create a profile and we're gonna save it to the memory unit and we're gonna call it anything you like it doesn't matter there's gonna be a dummy account you'll never play on this account ever so I'm just gonna name it dummy and we're gonna create the profile And I'm just going to use this random avatar. I'm not going to join Xbox Live, so I'm going to click Done. Okay. Now we're going to go back into memory. And we're going to the, go to the USB. Uh, we're going to go to Gamer Profiles. And you can see that our dummy profile is in there. So this dummy pr uh, profile is on your USB uh, right now. So that's all you have to do so far on the Xbox side, except for... You have to go to hard drive, games, um, Call of Duty Black Ops, and you want to delete the um, uh, where is it title update. Um, this number keeps going up, so I can't guarantee what your title update is going to be by the time that you watch this video. There could be another title update within a month, and it'll be title update number six. But whatever the title update is, just delete it. It'll be anything five or higher. So we want to click A, delete, yes. And the reason we do this is just because Treyarch has already patched the mods that we're going to be playing. So um, whenever you put the game in, it's going to tell you to update. You don't want to do that. And uh, I'll show you that later on after when we put in the mods. So that's all we have to do for now. Um, I will see you on the PC side. Okay, now that we're back on the PC, what we're going to want to do is uh, plug in our USB with the um, modded profile, or with the unmodded uh, dummy profile. I'm just going to close that, and close that. Uh, so what we're going to open is USB Explorer. I'll have a link to this in the uh, description. Uh, we're only going to need two things for this, but anyway, it, it's... Uh, the USB Explorer plus the modded profile, that's it. It's probably easier to do than the um, than transfer cable. So we're going to go ahead and open up USB Explorer. We're going to go to File, Open Device. Now we're going to double click on Content. This thing, that thing, that thing. And then we're going to get this. Uh, you'll see that you can't click on it anymore. If you just keep clicking on it, it'll bring it back to the same thing over and over and over. Uh, so that's what you want to end up with. Uh, what you're going to do is delete it 
um, actually, no, there's a better approach to doing this. We're gonna click this until we get, let's double click it, until we get this. If you go once more, you should get content. So, double click on content. You're gonna have this with directory right in front of it. Wanna go ahead and open up the modded profile folder. This will be in the description. And you're gonna take this right here and you're gonna drag it right over. Now you'll see that it's copied right here. What you wanna do is double click this, that, that, and now here's the root folder or root file. So if you want to mod five, you go to five. If you want to mod Kino, you go to Kino. I'm gonna personally do Kino right now. So I'm gonna double click on Kino, go to profile, and then we're gonna take this file right here in USB Explorer and we're gonna delete it. And we're gonna drag this one over. So I hope that was clear. Um what we just did, we added this profile. That's this one right here. We went in, deleted the profile that was there, chose which one you wanted to do, and we dragged this over here. That's all you have to do. It's very simple. And after you've done that, uh, just close out of uh, USB Explorer. And um, yeah, we'll go to the Xbox. All right, now that we're back on the Xbox, first thing you want to do is plug in the USB and sign out of any accounts that you might be signed into. I'm going to go ahead and hit the guide button and go to sign in. And you'll see we'll have a new account here. It's called A. Just go ahead and sign into that. Um, you might want to make sure that the uh, title update is still deleted. I'm not going to do that because I already know mine is deleted. So I'm going to go ahead and start Black Ops. Alright, so I'm going to choose the memory unit. I'm not going to go through all this. Yes, I want graphic content, zombies, and solo. I put in, I dragged over Kino, so I'm going to use Kino. If you dragged over 5, you want to go to 5, but I used Kino, so I'm going to go to Kino. Alright, so the first thing you want to do when you spawn is press up on the d-pad and you will see that your crosshairs get uh, very small and you will have to reload so just give that a reload press X and then just shoot and you'll get uh, infinite ammo and you'll kind of be like you'll, you'll see that the friction is kind of low and the gravity is a bit low too um, yeah if you're a tactical player like button layout tactical you're gonna have to get used to playing on default for this because it comes on uh, it comes on ta on default and if you change it to tactical it will uh, it will it won't make the mods work anymore so uh, I know I plan tactical but I have to get used to it just for this um, so yeah some things uh, you can do with this as you can see right now we got a uh, very far knife you know infinite ammo uh, the friction's kind of low. Uh, you get no clip, so if you press RB, you can uh, fly around the map, fly through walls, things like that. If you press down, you can teleport to um, pack a bunch to this upper stairs area, and then back to the main room. Uh, I will leave a button mapping chart, which shows you all the. Uh, it shows you all the. Um, uh, button uh, combinations, or not comment, just button that you have to press to do, for example, no clip. And um, so, in, like, I'll give you an example. If you press up on the D-pad, it'll actually change the button mapping. So now, whenever I press the no clip button, you can actually throw a grenade. And if I press up again, that same uh, 
that same button will enable and disable god mode so because there's more mods and there's buttons you, you have to like map them uh, and I'll, I'll I'll leave a picture in the description of uh, of what those are it's pretty easy to understand you just gotta know that pressing up on the d-pad will change the buttons so see right there I could uh, drop my weapon pick it back up it's pretty cool um again well, I, not again, but I shouldn't even have to be saying this. Do not take these online. You will get banned, trust me. I got banned. Um, this Jesus Christ account is my second account because I am an idiot and modded on my primary account and got banned. So if you think Treyarch isn't going to ban you, go ahead and do this, but you will get banned. So that's my disclaimer to you guys, telling you not to take these mods online. Even if you just use it like this, there's no risk because you can't even get online. There's no Xbox Live. But if you mod your primary account, your GPD, you will get banned. No doubt about it. Don't don't even try. Um, so, yeah, that's what I got to say about that. Have fun with this. I know a lot of you have been requesting it. Uh, so here it is. Enjoy.